Sometimes I feel so hopeless Thinking of the things that feel so wrong in this world My life's just a drop in the ocean The world is my oyster But I can't find the pearl Sorry. Can someone take this? This was a mistake. I'm... I'm the... I'm the Parmesan cheese guy! Everyone up on your feet, let's go! So the next time you get pasta And the waiter comes around With the Parmesan cheese and you say please don't let him leave until your plate overflows and if he says say when then you say Well, guess what, Big Parma? We're not going to be embarrassed anymore, are we? We will not remain silent. We will not give in. We will die before we let Big Parma win.
Listen, I'm a big boy band fan. I am. I, my, my buddy here created one of the biggest ones, One Direction. And uh, I love BTS. I know this is J-pop. Uh, you got to hit some of the notes uh, when you're singing the solos. They were really off on those notes. The rapping wasn't good. It was. It's, it seemed like a parody. This looks like a Saturday Night Live oh. sketch. If Liza Minnelli went to Japan and put together a boy band, this is what I think it would look like. shows this is insanity y'all my husband is in the audience uh, so let's talk some trash about him you ready yeah I love telling people that I married my best friend I say it all the time I married my best friend uh, I don't mean it but I say it uh, I do love the guy I would call him my soulmate you know or the first one who I ever asked um, one of those uh, he's great. I remember when we were dating and I was fantasizing about like what that proposal would be like one day and what that dream ring would look like when I got it. And y'all, I am still fantasizing. <laughs> exactly. There's a diamond there. That's what he said it was, so we'll go with that. I know guys get bothered when I say that. I said it on stage the other night and a man yells out in the back, hey, he worked hard. I was like, he could have worked harder. <laughs> Also, he's just not good at jewelry, and that's probably my fault, right? Because I'm a proud feminist. And he said, well, I thought that meant you didn't like diamonds. And I was like, not that kind of feminist. <laughs> and it's not a money issue either, because he's good at spending money on things that he's into. And uh, I just wrongly thought that was me. <laughs> okay, so, so far he has spent a fortune on a fleet of mountain bikes. Yeah, and you might be asking how many is in a fleet. Let's just say every time I walk out in the garage, I just see six better engagement rings <laughs> with handlebars. So needless to say, we do not have any children because we have bicycles instead. Uh, I'm ready to be a mom though. I think I'd be great at it mainly because I've raised a lot of men. So, yeah, thanks. All my, all my girlfriends are moms, though. They're all moms now, which is weird to me because I know these women, all right? I used to party with these women in our 20s, and I remember when they didn't care about things like tomorrow, okay? <laughs> we would just go out and party. We had no rules. We drank everything we came in contact with. Uh, we didn't even do the pre-drinking rhyme. Y'all know it. The, is the beer before liquor gets you sicker? Simon, do you know the rest of that? Uh, <laughs> we just drank... We just drank whatever Chad's buying at the bar, right? Uh, now that we're in our 30s, when we go out for a girls' night, it is very different, okay? Now, Beth has an app on her phone that tells her which wine on the menu is gluten-free. And then Meg, she's got to see how long it's been since she pumped, because she doesn't want to get the baby drunk again. Because she hates fun, I guess, right? And then we've got Morgan. She tries to order for the entire table, right? Because she's been to a winery recently, so she knows wine. And, uh, and she's like, oh, she's like, excuse me. She's like, excuse me. She's like, excuse me, hi, waiter. We've got five ladies, and we are going to be splitting a bottle of Tempranillo. And uh, I'm in the back like, that's not what I'm doing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to finish drinking this purse vodka. And then I'm going to need my own bottle of wine to make it through the night with you liars. So I'm just looking, to my, to looking forward to being in our 40s when all my girlfriends will be divorced again and back to being drunken floozies. That's what I'm looking forward to. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. All right, Simon, what's the issue, man? Well, no issue, yeah, Terry. What is the issue, Look, man? I I actually did that, Lace, to help you, because it was going downhill, and there was something missing for me. It was like, it was, it felt, uh, oh, shut up. It felt really almost rehearsed rather than spontaneous, and you were much funnier, in my opinion, on your first audition. Um, so I just didn't find it that funny, I'm afraid. Uh -huh. There, wa there wasn't stuff. No, there wasn't stuff that he could relate to. I mean, I did say there's usually a man in the audience who yells out and interrupts me, so I'm not surprised. That's it. Oh, how 
how I miss that side But you are in there somewhere It's not something you gotta hide Oh, you are in there somewhere When I look at you, I see love Even with your broken pieces on the floor Listen, it, it, you harmonize, you have nice voices. I felt like I was at a school assembly. Oh. And I did not do great in school, and I didn't do great during that act. I'm sorry, it, this doesn't rise to the level of AGT, in my mind. Live and unzip, it's Mr. Pan. Hello, everybody! Ah, uh, ran into a shirt backstage. Why is it that shirts are always acting like they're above me? <laughs> well, perhaps I'm being a little self-conscious. Just be honest with me. Do these pants make my face look big? <laughs> well, I'm a family man first. My son is shorts. His favorite band are the Shins. Shorts has been slacking off in school. Last week he got suspended. It's okay, folks. Simon's hand slipped. This happens. Oh, it's all right. Don't be mean to Simon. He's a nice guy on the inside. My son needs discipline and structure. This kid, I got half a mind to ship him off to the Old Navy. But my friends aren't much better. My best friend, Roy. Roy got drunk on suds, rolled the dryer on hot, and then he shrunk. Now he's a corduroy. We have our family dog, who, oddly enough, also pants. <laughs> but it's not easy being pants. Sometimes I want to drop the act. Sometimes I want to show you who I really am on the inside. America, do you want to see who I really am on the inside? I can't hear you. Do you really want to see who I am on the inside? This is who I am! <laughs> Please. 
What is there, a breeze in here or something? Well, great, now I have even less material. <laughs> Thank God I didn't go commando. <laughs> well, I'm understandably a little bit nervous, so this is exactly how I envision all of you. <laughs> Fortunately, if this doesn't work out, I always have a backup career as a boxer. <laughs> Simon, you'll like this one. This is exactly what I looked like after my ex-wife sued the pants off me. She left me for a pair of overalls because he offered more support. And can you believe that I'm still paying for her dry cleaning? You believe that? Well, folks, look, I gotta fly, but you've been a fantastic audience. Thank you very much. Simon, you gave it an X, man. It didn't hold up for you. No. Uh, look, I like you. However, I actually thought maybe if you came onto the live shows, there would be other jokes about other things. He's called Mr. Mr. Pants. Pants. Okay, but he could have come out as a sock or something, something different. <laughs> In my opinion, it started bad and actually got worse. I pressed the buzz was is that I felt the act needed a transition midway through it just it felt very like that the whole thing queríamos, uh, I would have done Simon queríamos mostrar que los latinos somos capaces de hacer muchas cosas could do a lot more things no 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 I think you're amazingly talented and I was frustrated because I think, you know, to get through to the final, you've got to do something spectacular on the final, which meant doing something different, like I said at the end. That's why you are very talented. <laughs>
a cactus tug of war. Do not try this at home. Boys, are you ready? Boys, are you ready? All right, then, on the count of three, three, two, one. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Come on. You've got this. You've got this. Pull, pull, pull. Ah, ah, screw it. Come on, boys. You ready? You want this to do it? Three, two, one, pull. your lives. There were cactuses. I thought it was stunning. They didn't risk their lives. They risked their balls. <laughs> yeah. Sophia, you buzzed. Why did you buzz the lazy generation? I'm sorry, but it's, I feel it's unnecessary pain. <laughs> My name is Vanessa and I'm from South Pasadena. My question for Simon is, what animal do you think you look like the most? I think it's a lemur. And I remember seeing a nature program once and I thought, that actually looks like me. Sophia, the chihuahua that you posted this morning on your Instagram story, is that yours and do you have more? I have two chihuahuas in my life. One is my son, and the other one was supposed to be my dog, but she hates me and loves my husband, and she's a very bad dog. And we have a question for Heidi. I would love to know what her most embarrassing moment is. I have four children, and I would say to them, everything I do is embarrassing. What do you do when you get nervous? Instead of calling it nerves, what I do is call it excitement. Please welcome your house. And I use those nerves to bring me energy. Terry Green! I got it. That is Heidi having lunch. I feel it's Heidi chewing something. Heidi chewing chips. Sounds like a hamster is eating something. Oh my gosh, it's the guy crushing the nuts with his butt cheeks. Mr. Cherry, I love him. It was hard. It really hurt. Hey, Heidi. Your hand binoculars are ridiculous. Stop it. You don't understand. They're not binoculars. Yes, they are. No. What it does, it takes the light outside from the outside, sense. and it gets darker around, and then I can actually see better. I need to my focus glasses. focus into some parts yes, sometimes. exactly. So it's not it so bright. Because when it's so bright, I can't see what they're doing, and I need to judge. So my family and I are watching AGT and my dad says, is Beyonce always on this? It's Tyra Banks. Or is it? Blue Ivy, Blue Ivy sit down right now. Mama gotta host this show, Blue. AGT made Simon Cowell so soft. <laughs> yes, for me. I want Simon the Savage back. The one who crushed dreams and made people cry for fun. <laughs> off. <laughs> Password is magic. Did you just look? No. Not at the. Are no. you guys talking? No. <laughs> Freak. Magic. Yes! 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 Magic is the correct <laughs> word. That is cheating. Who heard him tell me the word? That's that cheating. That means that you were cheating already. Jim, <laughs> him. They're him cheating him him because, because they heard you cheating. <laughs> All right, nice. this is the I'm final sweating. clue. The we clue? are actually tied at the moment, <laughs> and we are going to start with Howie. The okay. password is... Ready? Million. Dollars. <laughs> million. Oh! He's right! Thank That's you very it. much. Everybody. That is the word. Simon and Howie have 
have won. Thank you for playing Password. Let's hear it, everybody. You won a million dollars. Where's the check? Where's the check? Word do you think he's thinking of and vice versa? What do you think Howie is thinking of? One word. And when I count to three, you're going to say that word out loud. Clear your mind. Okay. This is a mind reading technique to show that you guys are in perfect sync. Okay. okay. Read her mind. Three, two, one. Yes! Earring and shoes. <laughs> Look each other deeply in the eyes, deeply. Three, two, one. Nice! Look at each other deeply. Understand each other. Three, two, one. Lipstick! <laughs> This is freaky! <laughs> Lipstick! Feel the power. Word? You have it? Yeah, yeah. Have it? I got it. Three, two, one. Handsome. handsome. What? Did y'all say handsome? Handsome! That was not, by the way. This is crazy. Uh, I handsome. swear on my life, that was not prep. <laughs> I didn't plan that. We got studied what profession for three years? I know what it was. Dentistry, because she has amazing teeth. She was going to be a dentist. You want to know why I know that? They don't show this backstage. She will actually floss my teeth. Imagine if you turn up and guess who's your dentist, Sofia Vergara. That sounds so sexy. <laughs> It'd be like, you know what? I'll have a filling out a week. How many Emmys have I been nominated for? I'm going to say seven. Two Emmys. Seven times. Let's just go for the seven. Why are you looking at me like that? I'm guessing. I don't know. Four. You didn't let me finish. I was going to say two times two. Well, she should have got more. The competition was brutal. The, and, and last night, we had the highest of highs and then some incredible, for me, personal disappointments. And we are here, and we are all paid, to be honest. I am brutally honest. That's why it was brutal. Good luck to everyone. But you sometimes are also grumpy. I'm not grumpy. Yeah, okay. <laughs> also, I'm, I'm translating. Yeah. She said grumpy. Okay. Well, you they know what? Me. This is a good sign. Listen, <laughs> Sophia. A lot of the judges, you guys disagreed on a lot of the acts last night. Why do you think that was? Um, well, we, girl, first of all, we have different tastes, and... We, we all have the same taste. Some of them don't know what they, <laughs> what they, what they're supposed to know. Uh, I know everything grumpy? we know. <laughs> how is grumpy sometimes, and Simon is sometimes loco, so it's, there's nothing... Well, I admit it. I do admit it. Welcome to Buzzer Buddy. Sowie, if you were cleaning out Simon's closet, what would you throw away first? If I was cleaning out Simon's uh, closet. You've got very minimal choices here, because he wears the same thing. Yes. Oh, it's, uh, it's between the white t shirt <laughs> and the white dress shirt. And or the bell bottom pants. The white t shirt. The white Simon. Everything. <laughs> Oh, that is everything. It. You know what? <laughs> I am going to give you that point. That is everything. I am giving you that point. What do you think, audience? They deserve that point. That's pretty much all that Simon wears. Sophia. You, you did so much magic in two and a half minutes that I don't even know what I was seeing. You made me believe in magic. This is amazing. This was better than your audition. And I really want to know what Simon thinks. Simon, did he win you over? I think I helped you. No! I do. I really, really do. I the think magic that... Simon. No, by me saying no at the auditions, I think has pushed you to be a better magician. <laughs> and I'm very happy to say on live television, I am officially an idiot. Yeah! No! Howie! <laughs> You know, we, I, I want to say this from, from my heart here. Uh, what you have done for the show, and as a friend, as one of the most amazing people I've ever worked with, oh, wow. I wanted to pay you a tribute to show your significance, and most importantly, your importance for the 10 years you've been on the show. Over to you, Terry. Sunset Boulevard, okay, let's take a look.
Here we go. Count it down with me, people. Where am I looking? Five, four. 